Hey, this will be a video chart on HMIT, Hildalgo Mining International. Uh, very nice day today and just a nice overall pattern. That's why I kind of have it pulled out some and we're looking at about the past five months and possibly getting ready to break out of this bullish chart pattern that we're in. Next week should be very interesting. Still work to be done, but uh, you know, as far as a chart is concerned, it's about as close as it can get to hopefully moving on to the next level. So before I really get into the pattern, I just want to point out that today volume was, uh, you know, well above average, and with the, you know, above average volume, had a nice price action day. Price was up about uh, a little under 18% on the day. Uh, but when you see these two types of things, bullish price or excuse me, bullish volume uh, with corresponding price action, uh, you know, those are always good signs uh, in terms of, you know, seeing volume and price correlation. Uh, you know that works out in your favor and now for the overall chart uh, what we have and what we've had for essentially the past uh, about two and a half months three months now is uh, a bull flag bull pennant whatever you want to call it basically what that is drawing it uh, if we look at this big move here this formed the flag pull and then for the past uh, about two months now we've been forming uh, the flag portion of it uh, so it would probably be better if I just drew it out with the trend lines that way uh, everybody can see more clearly. So once again, here was our flagpole that was formed over multiple days. Make this extra thick to stick out. And then we had our resistance portion of the pattern, which is up here at 002. So this forms the top of our flag. I'm going to make that extra thick because it's a very important uh level of resistance and then we had our bottom portion of the flag which was our support down here at uh, the let's see where was it the double zero one level so for the people that have been kind of flipping this and the reason this is uh, kind of uh, very hard to get through is there's traders in here that are playing it down around this area and then they're selling it right back here you know there's been multiple times now you know here was one trade there, pulled back, you know, load up again, back up here again, and now they're selling, pulled back, but this time not as much, so the people that have been flipping it, uh, they either had to pay more, so that means they're going to hold on longer, or they just didn't get in at all, so there's not as many flippers in it. So hopefully that, uh, you know, is boding well for the daily chart and the people that are holding on to this for a longer term, uh, but with today's action, if you haven't already figured it out, what we're at we're simply sitting right exactly at this key area of resistance, a breakout point of 0 0.002. Uh, so if it can get through there, then that's what I mean by chart going to another level. Uh, you know, we'd be leaving this whole channel behind and hopefully uh, 0.002 would then become the bottom of any sort of new channel that would form. And, you know, these prices down here would be uh, history. So if we scrunch up the chart uh, just a tad more, you can see that the next areas of resistance are going to be up in the 0 0.0025 area. Where are those coming from? Where well, if we look at the tops of these candles over here from back in uh, August, so almost a year ago, you can see that the price was up there. Uh, so with any sort of break of 0 0.0025, uh, the, the next focus should be 0 0.0025, and uh, that'll be the next key resistance level. And if it gets up there and we get some close above there, I'm sure I'll be back to update the chart. Uh, but mainly what I wanted to just go over was the pattern and how going into this weekend, you know, things are looking uh, quite nice. And, you know, it's either going to be, uh, you know, the flippers went out and the price heads back down here where it'll probably find support again. Or the, you know, bulls are finally going to win out, beat out the flippers and everybody else, break through here. And then uh, hopefully that'll spur on some more momentum. Uh, as always, if it does get through a break, uh, the, the higher the volume on the breakout, you know, the more confidence you can put in it. Um, so that's just uh, one thing to remember is uh, if, if you want to know how certain uh, some sort of breakout is, you know, the more volume, the more certain you can be in it. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. Uh, if not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. Uh, it's all free. We've been making some good money together, so I'd encourage you to head to the website, uh, check it out, and um, you know, sign up. So one more time, this was HMIT. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your weekends.